Hi guys, welcome to your sixth tutorial on the task dialog. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add a progress bar to your task dialog. We'll go ahead by creating a new object of the task dialog progress bar class. And we'll just name it TDP and we'll initiate the object. And the first value we're going to put in is the minimum value, the second value is the maximum value, and the third value would be what the progress bar is at. So because our minimum and the maximum is between 0 and 100, we'll just set it to 0, so there's no progress at the moment. And we're just going to add that to our task dollar controls. And if we run this now, you'll see that we have a progress bar, but it's not doing much. Or well, we don't even know how to handle it yet. So, um, I'm just going to add two custom buttons. One to add progress to the progress bar, and another one to change the state of the progress bar. Uh, just saying though, this isn't how you would normally use a progress bar, but for for this tutorial, I'll just show you how to do it this way. In fact, this way make, it doesn't even make any sense. So. We'll just add the value by 10. And add the button to our controls of, the, of our task dialog. And we'll just add a second button to change the state of the task dialog. We'll just copy that code over and we'll just change the names around. change to change now this is the bit of code you need to have a look at so to change the progress we'll just go tdp dot state equals to task dialog progress bar state dot um, you have a few options here you can go error which is which will turn the task dialog red marquee which it which will show you the infinite progress bar so you know the ones that like never end just keeps going in a loop um, normal is blue and paused is yellow we'll just go to pause and we'll add that button to our controls so let's go ahead and run this so you can see we've got our two custom buttons here. We can add progress. As you can see, the task dialog class makes it animate for us, so it looks nice. And you can also change the state to a different color. We only change it to pause, so so um, it only goes to yellow. But yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.